Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Schwane Automotive Special Economic Zone, or SEZ, has been cited as a testament to how special economic zones in South Africa can be owned and operated and lead economic development in the province. Alne Arnoldi provides an update. The Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, the City of Tuane and the Gauteng Provincial Government have spent 1.85 billion rand on the SEZ's development in the year to date, with the DTIC's contribution totaling 2.5 billion rand since its establishment. The SEZ was launched by the President in November 2019 and has grown to already accommodate five component manufacturers, even through COVID-19 challenges. Gauteng Economic Development MEC Park Stau gives his thoughts on the rapid development of the SEZ. Well, I think it's been impressive if you think about uh, the, the timelines that we've had to meet and ensuring that the project is able to deliver to get us to full production of the fo new Ford Ranger uh, from next year and the appetite of the investors to come to the party and ensure, and ensure that the investments happen has been quite impressive. Of course, one of the things that we acknowledge is that it has required a lot of innovation in relation to project management and project planning. Part of the reality is that whilst it is still under construction, uh, that is the overall size, production has already started on some of the plants. We've already seen that it's happening, happening simultaneously between um, installation of equipment, production happening while construction is still happening all at the same time. And I think that that's been quite impressive to the extent that the teams have been able to pull together the project management of such a large-scale initiative with the complexity that's there within the timelines that uh, have been met here. In terms of construction progress, about 75% of the Phase 1 top structure development has been completed and is expected to be done by March next year. So far, the zone has three phases of development envisioned. The first phase is meant to accommodate nine suppliers, with later phases anticipated to include residential and retail components. Tao shares the expected completion date of Phase 1. Well, in fact, uh, the phases are currently underway. So you would probably know that we've started with Phase 1. We anticipate that a lot of the construction will be completed by the end of this year, with some of the equipment beginning to come in um, on the site. So, uh, some of the equipment has already come in, but there's a lot of equipment that still needs to come in for the rest of the plants that would be established. Uh, and this is phased and sequenced in such a way that those that are required for immediate production have already come in. And those, and but by the end of by September next year, we should be at full production on the site. Um, and that uh, has required a lot of cooperation between the spheres of government, but also uh, the deployment of resources. Uh, to ensure that this becomes a success. The SEZ will cover a total 204 hectares of land and is driven by automotive manufacturing and suppliers of various vehicle components. For example, the anchor of the SEZ is Ford Motor Company South Africa, which has invested more than 15 billion rand in its Silverton assembly plant within the SEZ to locally produce next generation Ford Rangers from next year. Of the total year-to-date spend, about 356 million has comprised procurement from small, medium-sized and micro-enterprises, with a further 639 million rands worth of contracts having been awarded to SMME operators. The feasibility study conducted for the SEZ stipulated 45% as the target for SMME procurement spend. Tswane Automotive SEZ CEO Simpiwe Hamilton provides insight about the jobs that have been created and the SMME targets. What you are witnessing is the fastest, most complex industrial park that is currently under construction. In the last eight months, we have completed six of the buildings. Two of them are already in production. So never has it happened before that you have construction, installation commissioning and production in one a phase of a project. Typically in SEZ we would have a white box built and then installation and then production. So because of the key timelines here of meeting the global market requirements for Ford in PC, P3706 for the Ford Ranger, we have expedited uh, that process. In the next few months we will complete the remaining six buildings and then we intend to start with phase two of the project where we already have 13 investors that are interested in taking up the space including a 50,000 uh, square meter warehousing facility for the after sales facility for Ford. 
From a socio-economic point of view, uh, we have now are heading towards 3,500 jobs that we will be creating before the end of this year and the balance of the jobs that we have a target will come through uh, in the next uh, part of the year before the end of the financial year in March. So the jobs will continue. We have a socio-economic target of 45% for the SMME packages uh, and we are on stream to, to meet that. Uh, and we are hoping to have an incubation center in phase two where we now begin to integrate from an industrialist, a black industrialist point of view, uh, local companies into the main automotive uh, supply chain, given the opportunity to do so. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.